Can I ask you about the Olympics in London? Do you want to know there's something about it that's troubling me? Before I tell you what that is, can I give you some history first? The 9th of Av, it's a day of great mourning for the Jewish people. Because five misfortunes have befallen our fathers on the 9th of Av, it says. On the 9th of Av, it was decreed that our fathers should not enter the promised land. Also, the temple was destroyed the first and second time. On what day? The 9th of Av. Also, Bethar was captured and the city of Jerusalem was plowed up on the 9th of Av. Should I weep in the fifth month? Separating myself as I have done these so many years? Zechariah asked the question in chapter 7, verse 3. In the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, came Nebuchadnezzar, and he burnt the house of the Lord. 2 Kings, chapter 25, 8 through 9. In the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, came Nebuchadnezzar, and he burnt the house of the Lord. According to Jeremiah 52, 12 and 13. How are these the dates to be reconciled? Well, on the seventh of the, the heathens entered the temple and ate therein and desecrated it throughout the seventh and eighth for two days. Towards the dusk of the ninth, they set fire to it and it continued to burn that whole day. How will the rabbis then explain the choice of the ninth of Ah, the beginning of any misfortune, is when the fire was set. It is a greater damnation. They came in on the seventh. They ate out of the golden vessels. They desecrated the temple. But when they set the fire, the strange fire, in the temple of God, this was the greater damnation. Now let me just tell you something. The fast of the ninth of Av is a day of mourning to be commemorated, according to the Jewish people, of the many tragedies that have befallen the Jewish people, many of which co uh, coincidentally have occurred on the ninth of Av. Or is it a coincidence? You see, the ninth of Av is, usually occurs during August, primarily commemorates the destruction of the first and second temples. It usually does. It doesn't always. Sometimes July. Okay? Both of which are destroyed on the 9th of Av. The first temple, Solomon's temple, was destroyed on the 9th of Av in the year 586 B.C. by the Babylonians. The second temple, Herod's temple, was destroyed by the Roman Empire in the year of 70 A.D. Which day? The 9th of Av. Although this holiday is primarily meant to uh, commemorate the destruction of the temple twice, it is appropriate to consider on this day the many other tragedies of the Jewish people, many of which have occurred on this day. And I could give you the list, but it's quite lengthy. Most notably, of course, the expulsion of the Jews from Spain on the 9th of Av in the year of 1492 of our Lord. Paul, so what? what do you, so what's this got to do with the Olympics? The Olympic Games opening ceremony is scheduled for this summer right at dusk of what? The, of, of the Sabbath on July 27th, 2012, the 9th of all. Uh, would you have picked that day? If you were the Olympic Committee and you have, you're pulling the entire world together for a spectacle of sport and competition and supposedly unity, would you have chosen the historical day of mourning, a day of great tragedies of the Jewish people? Would you have chosen right at dusk, which is the beginning of the Sabbath, the ninth of Av? What? I'm telling you, folks, I don't feel good at all about this Olympic Games. I'm concerned about terrorism. I'm concerned about 
um, propaganda. Uh, I don't even know what I'm concerned about. I'll be honest with you. I just don't, I've never have. I've been concerned. And I love the UK. And I've been to London. And I love the city. I, this has nothing to do with of England. This has nothing to do with the Royals, really. This hasn't got anything to do with the city of London. This has to do something spiritual. And, and something that's, you know, I don't know what it is. I mean, we see in so many biblical prophecies. Get some coffee. Are you serious? You're starting the, you're going to light, listen to me. They're going to light the Olympic torch at, <laughs> at the dusk of the start of the Olympic Games at the beginning of the Sabbath on the 9th of Av. And what did it say in the book of 2 Kings 25, 8 and 9, and Jeremiah 52, 12 and 13, that they came into the temple on the seventh day. They desecrated it. They partied. They prepared for the big time. And I'm sure they will in London the week leading up to the Olympics. But it, it was on the ninth of all that they lit the fire. It's incredible to me especially when the Olympics is based on Greek mythology. It's, it's just absolutely amazing to me that at the very moment that God was so angry, the day of tragedy, because they lit the fire, the Jewish rabbis say, you know, the all the other things they did in the temple was horrible, but the greatest sin was they lit the strange fire. And on that moment, it was the ninth of Av, and they're going to light the Olympic torch right at dusk, the beginning of the Sabbath, on the ninth of Av. You think that's an accident? Do you think they just didn't know? Or do you think something sinister has been planned for a long time? And will something happen to Israel on the ninth of Av this year? Is this Olympic game or something happen? I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen in London. I don't know. Maybe nothing will happen. It's just, maybe it's a symbolic gesture by those that are in charge. Of course, Israel will not be participating necessarily. I mean, they are in the Olympics, but I mean, you know, do you think Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be in the crowd cheering? along with former President Bill Clinton or even President Barack Obama cheering on or even David Cameron or even Queen Elizabeth or Prince William? Do you think that Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, will be there on the 9th of Av? I don't think so. What? This is something to just sit back, take a step back, ask yourself a question. Why did they pick this day? Get some coffee. I'll tell you something. Can I just throw this out there? The stainless steel cups, without question, stainless steel on the inside and outside, makes the coffee better, especially when your throat's a little... Are you saved? Pastor, why are you sharing this ninth of all? We're going to talk about this today on my show, Coming Apocalypse, live at my website. If you want to watch the show live, go to my website today at, from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's called Coming Apocalypse, right at my website. Just go to the live streaming page, and there you can click and watch the show. There's a live chat room as well. Or if you have an Android or an iPhone, you're at work, and you want to hear the program, you can listen to it on Blog Talk Radio. That's Blog Talk Radio. There's the link below. Click on it. It'll take you right there. They have an app for your iPhone and your Android, so it's real easy. You can listen to it right there. At the same time, 12 noon to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To, we're going to talk about the bones of John the Baptist. We're going to talk about the ninth of Av in the Olympics. We're going to talk about um, the earthquakes. We're going to talk about Syria. We're going to talk about Egypt. We're going to talk about Jesus. Are you saved? Give your life to the Lord.